नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओ पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणी न स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायी अंबत्वासंदा भगवदगीते भगवद्वेषिणी ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन द एंशंट सेज व्यास इन्क्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत O oh goddess shower of the nectar like knowledge of non dualism contained in your 18 chapters o oh my affectionate mother the destroyer of rebirth i meditate upon thee krishna vandana vasudeva sutam devam kansa chanura mardanam devaki paramanandam krishnam vande jagat guru son of vasudeva the slayer of kansa and chanur extreme delight for mother devki o lord krishna the supreme teacher of the universe my salutations to you shrimad bhagavad gita 8th adhyaya the akshara brahma yoga and uh, today we are reading the 11th shloka the previous reading of 9th and 10th shloka together shri krishna beautifully explained to us the way to contemplate on the various attributes of brahma that the brahman brahman is kavim puranam anushasitaram anoraniyan samanusmaredya one who focuses one one who meditates upon these attributes of brahman hmm. kavim the ancient one the the, the 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 most knowledgeable the omniscient puranam most ancient and anushasitaram one who is governing this entire creation anushasitaram anoraniya who is smaller than the smallest he is even minuter than the minutest of the atoms forget about the uh, you know the, the, the tissues and uh, uh, create uh, other uh, ha, ha, high highly developed organs and the bodies what well, atom is such a small thing shri krishna says this fellow is smaller than the atom subtle than the atom minutest than the minuter than the atom one who concentrates on this and what are other uh, uh, attributes of this brahman sarvasya dhataram he is the supporter of all achintya roopam his form what brahman looks like is beyond comprehension we cannot if it is beyond our uh, the, the 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 capacity of these uh, tiniest senses that we have got these instruments we may be able to know so many things for that matter but these are of no use when it comes to understanding the brahman when it comes to thinking about the brahman he is achintya his roopa is achintya and aditya varnam the effulgence is brighter than the sun aditya varnam and tamasah parastat he is beyond the darkness beyond the tamas that is what the brahman is and shri krishna says that prayana kale manasa chalena bhaktya yukto yoga balena chaiva bhrur madhye pranam aveshya samyak satam param purushamu paiti divyam at the time of death prayana kale with the steady mind unwavering mind there is no chalabichal in that mind hmm? or chalena bhaktya yukto yoga balena chaiva and the uh, with, with the strength of yoga coupled with the devotion only the hardcore yoga is of no use you have to go there with faith and devotion filled within us without devotion this uh, yoga is also not going to help anyway on its own it is to be coupled with the bhakti it is to be coupled with the tenderness of the devotion 
ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಯೋಗ ಬಲೇನ ಚೈವ ಭ್ರೂವೋರ್ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಮಾವೇಶ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ದೈಂಟೈರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂಗ್ತ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಫೋಕಸ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಐಬ್ರೋಸ್ ಸತಂ ಪರಂ ಪುರುಷ ಮುಪೈತಿ ದಿವ್ಯಂ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ವೆನ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲರ್ ಪುರುಷ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರೀಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಟಡೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ನೈನ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಪುರುಷ ಈಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ದೆನ್ ಸ ಪರಂ ಪುರುಷಂ ಮುಪೈತಿ ದಿವ್ಯಂ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ವನ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮರ್ಜಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ರಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಪುರುಷ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಜರ್ನಿ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಏಮ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಗೋಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ವನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅವರ್ ಒರಿಜಿನ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ವನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅವರ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ದ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ so shri krishna has shown us the way how to reach uh, our objective and how to get liberated from this uh, cycle of repeated births and deaths births and deaths births and deaths and then shri krishna further uh, elaborates on this process of uh, you know uh, uh, the, the 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 crossing over crossing over from the life to the form of liberated soul hmm ಯದಕ್ಷರಂ ವೇದ ವಿಧೋ ವದಂತಿ ವಿಶಂತಿ ಯದ್ಯತ್ತಯೋ ವೀತರಾಗ ಯದಿಚ್ಛಂತೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯಂ ಚರಂತಿ ತತ್ತೇ ಪದಂ ಸಂಗ್ರಹೇಣ ಪ್ರವಕ್ಷೇ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಜ್ ಯತ್ ಅಕ್ಷರಂ ವೇದ ವಿಧ ವದಂತಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ Uh, known in the vedas hmm. well, that which is called as akshara yat aksharam veda vido vadanti all these vedas all the knowledge in the vedas what they talk about this akshara brahman this parama divya purusha whatever they talk about this akshara tattva in the vedas hmm. vishanti yat yat ಯತಯೋ ವೀತರಾಗ ವಿಶಂತಿ ವಿಶಂತಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎಂಟರ್ ದಿ ದೀಸ್ ಯತೀಸ್ ದ ರಿನೌನ್ಸ ರಿನೌನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ರಿನೌನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗ್ರೀಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ರಿನೌನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೀತರಾಗ ವೀತರಾಗ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ these yatis these uh, sanyasis and literally they may not be the ochre robed sanyasis even the householders in the spirit of sanyasis they can free themselves from the attachment of lust and greed and they can be uh, as uh, mm, uh, uh, equal as any the of the uh, ochre uh, robed uh, uh, all, all all renunciates so those who have freed themselves from the attachment those yatis hmm, those all renouncing people hmm, when they enter this uh, aksharam that which the they enter this that which the vedas know of that reality as akshara when these all renouncing uh, yatis all renouncing uh, sanyasis they, uh, <coughs> uh, they, they 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 desire to uh, enter this akshara hmm? yadi yadi chanto brahmacharyam charanti with the desire with desire of entering this uh, brahman with desire of becoming one with this brahman those who have got themselves freed from attachments vitarakaha they have uh, uh, discarded they have discarded the attachment and the uh, uh, the, the uh, 
डिजायर्स एंड यो ब्रह्मचर्य चलती दोज हु आर लीडिंग सेलिब्रेट लाइफ द प्योरेस्ट ऑफ द प्योर लाइफ विदाउट थिंकिंग एनीथिंग एल्स देन द ब्रह्म there is no thought of sex there is no thought of lust there is no thought of greed hmm? it is a pure life of celibates celibacy the life of continence hmm? tatte padam sangrahena pravakshe now i am going to tell you briefly about that akshara which the vedas call the akshara with the intention of being one with that all these yogis all these sanyasis having got ridden of the uh, the, the uh, desires and attachments leading the life of celibacy their entire aim is to their entire desire is to merge with this akshara now what that is i am going to tell you in brief that is what shri krishna says in this 11th shloka nature is the veda come from god this entire creation the entire knowledge that has come from god scripture is the veda come from the enlightened ones now what is written there in the veda rigveda yajurveda samaveda atharva veda the upanishad now all this knowledge this uh, it has come to us from those who have known who have those who have realized the eternal truth they have put it in words and they have passed it down the generations both these forms of veda complement each other the knowledge received from the lord himself or herself and the knowledge written in the scriptures they both complement each other because one is the direct knowledge one is the experienced knowledge by the seers by the enlightened souls both these forms of veda complement each other the knowers of the veda by either way state that the imperishable brahman is the substratum of the perishing universe and both these uh, uh, the, 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 the treasure houses of knowledge whether it is coming in the form of uh, uh, yoga veda from the lord uh, himself or herself or those the the knowledge that is mentioned in the scriptures hmm? both consider imperishable brahman to be the ultimate source to be the eternal truth to be the ultimate divinity now sanyasis are they who are not tempted by worldly desires and who live rigid life of continence so like like, like uh, we uh, uh, talked about earlier it may not be exactly i mean to the, the one who has renounced the world and taken sanyasa even a householder i i, I know a few householders who have led the life of sanyasis so such people those who have renounced everything who are aajivan brahmachari hmm? life long celibates hmm? uh, living the uh, leading the life of uh, uh, continence of controlled uh, emotions of, of, of the controlled tendencies the only focus is in the lord so these people the uh, who are freed freed from uh, vitaraga that is free from attachment free from desires free from i want this i want that for them the only desire is the lotus feet of the lord and with the intention of attaining that ultimate truth they lead the strict life of discipline and practice abhyasa yoga through brahmacharya or continence the physical energy in man gets converted into spiritual energy since there is no diversion of the mind to any of those uh, you know no the temporary enjoyments for that matter the mind is not diverted at all it is a single focus no desires no attachments Hmm? no wants only want is the lotus feet 
So their entire efforts, their entire life is completely tuned with the one ideal. The faculty of understanding gets keen thereby. Once the life is disciplined in this manner, in the way the brahmacharis, they lead their life with full continence. The understanding, overall uh, capacity to know the things, it greatly enhances. Intuition is the outcome of that exalted discipline. And that's when our inner faculties our intellect, our buddhi, it starts flourishing. And once it is flourished, the journey to the ultimate becomes so smooth, so easy. And that is when, with that kind of living, with that kind of practice, with that kind of discipline, what Sri Krishna had told us uh, in, the, in, the, in the 11th uh, uh, shloka of Focusing our life force in between the eyebrows and allow that life force at the time of death, at the time of Prayanakala, that life force, it escapes this citadel of nine gates. It escapes this wretched body. It escapes through the Sahastra and merges the little Purusha, the little self with the omniscient, with the Kavim and all those uh, adjectives that uh, Sri Krishna had given about that self, that Kavi and Purana and Anushasita and the Anurenu, uh, smaller than the atom, that kind of uh, Purusha, the little Purusha, it goes and meets. So that is, and Sri Krishna is now, in subsequent verses, he is going to tell us briefly about the nature again of that Paramadivya Purusha, yet which is mentioned by the Vedas as, as Aksharam. So that was the 11th shloka we had uh, uh, from the Akshara Brahma Yoga, the 8th uh, Adhyay of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. And on this particular thing, uh, 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 Sri Ramakrishna, what he has, uh, he, how, how one of his teachings, uh, one of his teachings go hand in hand with the the uh, explanation that Sri Krishna has given about uh, the, the, this particular shloka of uh, leading the uh, life of non-attachment, leading the life of celibacy, hmm, abstaining uh, from uh, you know the lustful thoughts, how Sri Ramakrishna's teaching goes hand in hand with Sri Krishna's teaching in this 11th shloka. Sri Ramakrishna says, He who wants to become spiritual, should not lustfully look at even the picture of a woman. No. It is a strict no-no. Spirituality is not where lust is. And therefore Sri Ramakrishna all the time to his disciples and his devotees, he tells us about give up Kamini Kanchan. Give up the lust and greed. That is the only way, unless and until one is attached to lust and greed, spirituality is a big no-no for that person. Spirituality is not where lust is. The sadhaka established in Brahmacharya develops a faculty known as Medha, which promotes his spiritual knowledge. Now, why all this talk about celibacy and why all this talk about continence, the Brahmacharya controlling the lustful tendencies? Sri Ramakrishna says that once an aspirant practices Brahmacharya, practices continence, practices uh, uh, abstains oneself away from the lustful thoughts, not even looking at the picture of a woman. Under such circumstances, an, an additional uh, faculty gets developed within a person and that is called as, that faculty is called as Medha. This Medha, once it generates this property, this uh, attribute, this leads us, this promotes the spiritual knowledge. It is kind of uh, an enzyme which boosts the reaction hmm, of any chemical reaction. We will put some enzyme so that the, uh, the, the reaction is uh, fastened. Or 
uh, if we want to uh, uh, you know boil something at a low temperature now every liquid has its own boiling point but if we put that liquid in vacuum the boiling point comes down water doesn't boil at 100 degrees centigrade in vacuum so this medhasa is something like that it gives a boost to opening of that spiritual intuition and therefore Sri Ramakrishna says one should give up the lustful thoughts altogether only then only then this faculty of medhas it gets developed and once that faculty gets developed it is a easy path it is a cakewalk on the, the spiritual uh, knowledge so that is why uh, Shri Krishna has also mentioned here about uh, the, uh, you know, uh, leading the life of continence and uh, uh, getting rid of the attachment and the desires and know that ultimate reality which the Vedas call by the name Akshara and that Shri Krishna is going to tell us in the coming shlokas of this Akshara Brahma Yoga. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Jai Sri Ramakrishna Jai Thakur Jai Ma Jai Swamiji